Hi everybody. This is my 26 week update on my pregnancy with baby number three. And I am dying of all this heat. Like, you can't just, maybe in other countries it's hot, but maybe it's like a dry heat, it's not so bad. But here in Canada, it is always humid. It is humid heat. You can't get away from it. You can't breathe. It's horrible. And I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, but it's been like 35 degrees Celsius every day. And it is humid. Like, so humid. I am just, I wake up sweating and I go to bed sweating. I take cold showers every night. And it's still, like, as soon as you step out of the shower, you're sweating already. It is crazy. And then running after two kids and being, like, six and a half months pregnant, I'm already a furnace. I am just so cranky and miserable. And I hate sweating. I hate sweating. And I, have, I haven't stopped sweating for, like, two weeks. And it's there's no end in sight. There's no end. Like... They're just like, oh, and another beautiful day today, and another beautiful day today. And I'm like, it's not beautiful. It's not. It's, this, is this is torture. I hate it. I, I'm just miserable. Other than that, um, I had my midwife appointment. <laughs> and it was a, very, it was a short appointment because basically everything's normal. But um, I was meeting with this one midwife, and I knew about this the whole time, but a new midwife is starting in September, and that girl is going to be my actual midwife. So I booked my appointment for her. So I'm going to meet her finally in about two weeks, and uh, she'll be the one that's actually delivering my baby. So I'm kind of excited about meeting her, because I'm not a huge fan of the midwife I have right now. She just doesn't seem like she cares about anything, and I don't, I, I got away from a doctor so that I didn't have that feeling, and now I have a midwife who, like, cares less than my doctor. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited to meet the new girl, so that's going to happen in about two weeks, And but at my appointment, we heard the baby's heartbeat, and the baby's measuring perfect. The kids are eating over there. Baby's measuring perfect, the heartbeat was perfect. Um, I got a bunch of stuff I had to do, which I had to do my diabetes test and my blood work, which I did this morning. And then tomorrow I have to go back and get my Rogam shot. So it's like tomorrow all that will be taken care of. And I don't have to worry about that anymore. All that stuff happened at the hospital that I'd be delivering at. So I got to like kind of look around. And the staff was really nice, and um, I didn't get to see any rooms because there was a baby in every room. But like walking down the hallway, you, all you heard was like babies crying, and it was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be here in like three months with a crying baby. It's crazy. I don't know if I told you guys, but Jasmine, Jasmine, I don't know if I told you guys, but I have decided to not have the home birth and have a birth in the hospital. I did decide to do it in the hospital. My husband was really concerned about it. He really didn't feel comfortable with it. And I kind of just ignored it because I'm like, this is my experience. I'm going to do whatever I want. But then he kind of approached me and was like, this is why I'm concerned. And I was like, fine, I'll have it in a hospital. He, so his concerns were legit. Like, you know, if if anything hap if anything were to happen and I needed a C-section, like it's just safer to have in the hospital because and like for some women who've had babies and they know their history, like they're great with labor. That's great. Have it at home, you can feel 100% safe. But because I hemorrhaged with Jasmine, Wasim had shoulder dysplasia. Like he got stuck at his shoulders. So they had to do like an emergency um, procedure like to push him out of me. And, um, and I'm always induced. 
Like my kids never want to leave me. I've never had, I've never gone into labor naturally. Because of those three factors, my midwife even said, I don't think it would be the greatest idea to have a home birth. And um, my husband also was like, he wasn't comfortable with having a home birth. So I was just like, you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry, and uh, we'll do it in the hospital. So that's what I've decided. Um, we've also found a name for the baby, and I'm really excited about it, but I'm not going to tell you right now. I'm going to make a separate um, name reveal video for that. Um, so look forward to that happening. They're having a ball over there. Don't throw your food on the floor. Don't do that. They're eating their dinner. Um, yeah, so blood pressure is fine, urine was fine, all those tests are done. The glucose test went really well. Uh, I drank the drink, of it. I got to about half of the bottle and I was fine. And then the second half was harder to get down because it was like I was reaching my intake of sugar. And uh, so probably by my next appointment I'll have the results for that. And... Uh, yeah, Rogam's going to happen tomorrow because I'm a negative blood type. And I haven't been craving anything really. Oh, I haven't been really craving anything, but I all of a sudden want sweets. Like I was all about salty and chips and crackers and stuff like that. But all of a sudden now I want sweets. I want brownies and ice cream and stuff like that. So that's something different, but I'm not really craving it. I'm just kind of eating it. And uh, my sciatic nerve has calmed down a little bit, thank God. Um, my, I found out the pain from my belly button all the way down, um, that horrible, horrible pain. I asked her about it, and she said that was my abs, my ab muscles separating, and it can be very painful. Um, and it is, so, like, that sounds terrible, like, that's what's happening, ugh. But that's not happened, uh, it happened for two straight days, and then it stopped. We'll see. My mommy's going to get your milk in one minute. Um, other than that, I feel great. I mean, I don't feel great. <laughs> other than that, pregnancy-wise, I feel fine. It's the heat. The heat is just driving me nuts. I am, like, snapping at my husband and everybody, and, like, they know that it's, it's not because of them. It's because I'm just, I hate being hot. And I'm already hot being pregnant, and it's so hot. So I can safely say I am miserable like this. I don't like the heat. Like, my husband will sit in this weather with the shirt off for hours, and I'd be like, I'd be dying. And we well, obviously, we don't have air conditioning. That's why I'm dying. But anyway, other than that, I know when the temperature comes down, I'll be 100% better. But for now, oh my gosh, I want the heat to go away. Yeah. Are you eating your sandwich? Eat your sandwich. Eat that one. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and say goodbye because half his meal is on the floor and she's playing with her plate. But uh, I will see you guys, well, tomorrow with some kind of video because it's still Veda. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.